So DeepSeek is kind of interesting, really. Actually, we are going to look at DeepSeek, which is another LLM out there similar to OpenAI and Claude. But this is open source, similar to Llama. And today we are going to look at how to use DeepSeek version 3 within make.com, which will help us with our orchestration and kind of automation. So this is what we are going to build by the end of this. Now, it might look really simple with only three steps. We have a webhook, open router, Gmail. And at this point, if you don't understand any of this, don't worry. So the point is I'm going to send an email to make.com and the idea is I'm going to forward some email that I would receive and if I don't want to reply to that myself, I can send that over to make.com for me to get help on replying to that email and eventually I'm going to get back an email from make.com with a reply that I could just copy paste or forward it on to other people as well. So this is the basic idea. So let's just jump in and I'll show you a quick demo of this. So this is an email that I recently received from Adobe and I want to forward this to my colleague but I don't just want to forward this. I want to just give a summary of what this does. So what I'll do is come over here and click on forward and I'll just say I want to send this to Mark, summarize it and make it concise. Now here's the fun part. Who am I forwarding this to? So I'll come into my make.com, copy the web address, the email address and then just send this. So once this is done, you'll see that it starts processing in here. So it looks like I've already got a reply back from DeepSeek and this is the summary I've got, which is okay, but let's Let's quickly jump into make.com and I'll show you how to know that this was the actual email that I wanted. So I'll go back here and click on history and click on details in here. And when I click on this, you will see the text that this webhook received. Here it says, I want to send this to Mark, summarize this. And finally, you can also see what process it undertook. And then finally, the email that it sent to me as well. So if I open the content up in my email, you will see it's an HTML. So we'll look at that as well, because this is not just the text email. So this is a properly formatted HTML. I know this is kind of a simple workflow, but hopefully this gives you an introduction to make.com. And that's the purpose of it. And also introduce you to a few more tools like Open Router and DeepSeek's version 3 and give a bit more information on it. So first things first, let's understand what DeepSeek version 3 is all about. So we'll come to our handy website, Hugging Face, where we have DeepSeek version 3 and DeepSeek AI. And you can scroll to this and read through the introduction bit and so on. But I think the most popular graph that has been making waves in the media right now is this graph over here, where we have some benchmarks of comparing DeepSeek version 3 against things like GPT-4.0 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And you can see here, it consistently is in par and sometimes it even beats the other popular LLMs like Claude and so on. So you can read through this and it's, it's a pretty interesting way they've done this. And you can come in here and look at the model size. It's about eight, 685 billion parameters. And even though this is a huge model, uh, they do have, uh, because it is open source, they have a section here on how to run this locally as well. So if you're familiar with tools like SG Lang, uh, you can run this locally if you have a particularly hefty or a beefy computer with a lot of GPU. And you can also use this with LM Deploy as well. But for now, we are going to stick to an application called Open Router. And there are a couple reasons why I like Open Router. The most useful feature is the fallback feature. So if you have an API or let's say you subscribe to OpenAI Chat GPT and you charged it with $10 credit and you ran out of that credit. So at some point, your application or the program that you've built is going to fail because you've run out of credit. Whereas with Open Router, you can have fallback so that you can set the credit limit. But then if you run out of it, it can fall back to any other free models out there. So you can come into models. And if I just search for free, you see there are a ton of free models that you can start using with Open Router over here. And of course, the one that we want to use is called DeepSeek. And this is the one. So you can click on it and read through it. You'll see that it's number one in programming, academia, technology number two. And you can read through all these things. And if you want, you can directly use this in your Python code as well. But we want to use it with make.com to build our automation, but also understand how all these automation tools like make.com, n8n and other popular ones are working under the hood. So if you don't have a make.com account just yet, you can go in and sign up. They do have a generous free tier. And then after that, they have some tiers which you can subscribe to. And once you're in, you can come in to scenarios over here and click on create a new scenario. And the way we want to do this is we want to use a webhook, which you can use to forward your emails to. And then we are going to use open router, which will be 
interfacing with DeepSeek to get prompts and answers from DeepSeek. And then we'll finally use Gmail. And you don't have to stick to this. There are a ton of other email providers like Outlook and other pieces as well. So you can take this further even more with your own creativity. But for now, I'm just going to stick to webhooks. Within this, I'm going to select mailhook and then I'll click on create a webhook. I'll just give it Gmail reply as a name. Select this. And this is the address that you want. So if I click on this, actually, let me just click on OK first and save this. So that's one thing. Always save in make. So if I just click on this and I'll paste it over here to show you what we have. So you have an email address, which is make.com. So that's good. So first of all, we have this webhook. So next, you'll see this add another module plus button over here. So if you can click on this and you'll get this option to add more things in here. And here is where we want to select open router. And you can see there are a ton of other things that you can do with this. But for now, let's stick to open router. So I'll just click on this and click on create a chat completion. And here it's already picking up Gmail reply. And you'll see that we have an asterisk over here, meaning this is a required field. So let me just click on this. And in the role, you have user, assistant, system, and so on. So assistant is just a prompt that you're telling DeepSeek that it will use it as internally. So you can say act as a social media influencer or act as a marketing expert or something like that. And this is where we are going to give it a prompt. And then for model, we can select Deep3, but you can select all the free ones here as well. But let me just select DeepSeek version 3. For now, I'll just say hello on this just so that I'm able to save this. And we'll also enable automatic fallback. Okay. So that is open router configured. And let me save this as well. Now, one thing you might have noticed is where is the data from the email going and how are we mapping all those things within open router. So we'll get to that just in a second, but I also want to add the final piece over here. So let me just search for Gmail and I want to create a draft and let's configure this. I've already configured my email over here and the folder I want this to be in. Let's say I just want it to be in all mail. That's fine. To recipient, I'll just add myself again. And the subject is going to be the subject that we are going to receive from the webhook. And then the content is going to be the content which we are going to get from open router. So this is the first step. And this was the second step. So here we are going to come to choices, messages, and click on content. And that should be it, actually. We can click on OK. And let's hit save as well. And let's finish configuring our open router. So let me just click into this and we'll say the prompt in here and let me just scroll up to the top so here we are saying you will receive an email and a set of instructions and all we're saying here is we want you to structure and create another email in this format again this html format i got it from claude as well so there's there's nothing new here you can just ask for an email template that you want to use and i'm just providing this as an example in here and this is what we are going to use and i'll click on ok and this was only the assistant right Right. We also want to feed in the information that we're going to get from the email, which we're going to do here. And here the role is going to be a user. And in the content, I'm going to select the text, which is the content from my email. And I'll hit OK and I'll hit save again. So now that this is configured, let's see if we're able to run this. And before that, a few housekeeping things. So I can come in here and say this is Gmail forward reply. You can come up with some fancy names yourself. Again, on these, you can click on this right click and give it a name i'll just say gmail forwarded and let's hit save and there were a couple of options if i right click on this so you have the settings obviously which is the one where we configured all these things but then there is also run this module only so this is a logical way that you would do this where you can just run this once and then if i just do run this module only so you can see that it's waiting for the data now so you can forward anything you want in here so let's just give that a try and i found a new new email that I initially received from Gmail. And this is the one that we're going to forward to our deepseekmake.com orchestra. So let me just forward this. And the two address is going to be this two address from the webhook settings. So do make sure to copy this. And I'll say, hey, I want to send this mark, summarize it. So let me just send this over to our webhook. And I'll come back in here. And you should start to see that something happened in the webhook over here. So if you leave it a few seconds, you will see an automatic pop up like this. And you can click on the text where you have the actual email content and the message that you've sent it. So 
the way this works and why this is beneficial is now you can come to open router and if you click on this over here you'll see these fields are automatically populated so if you ever get confused hey should i select text here or html content if you just run this once this step you'll see that okay this is the text that i want and you can just put this in here so now that we are all good on this uh, let me just say immediately run or actually let's say run once so that everything is in this preview mode and let me go back to my Gmail. I'll forward the same email again, but imagine this was uh, another email that you received and you wanted to give a quick reply to it so you could use this as well. So let me just forward this again. I'll copy and paste the same thing. I'll say, thanks, Vinay. And let me just send this over. Okay, I forgot to copy the email address. Let me just come back, stop this. And if I just click on this, you will see this is the address that we want. I'll click on copy. Okay, run once, come back here. Recipients is the two address and let me just and this so once that is done you'll see things are starting to update over here and you'll also see that open router is running and finally once this finishes you'll see the email being sent as well so now this finished so the email was sent so all three have a green check mark against them so it's working i'll just come to my gmail and open this up and if i open my email up in the drafts i do have this where i'm sending things to mark from myself and this is an html formatted if you just want a text it'll send the perfectly nice text as well and this is the summary of the gmail app announcement that we have and this is how to use it you can turn this on if you want to keep it running in the background so here you can say actually you can come in here and say do you want to run this immediately once the email is delivered or if you just want to run this once a day so there are a few flow or orchestrators that you can build which might need immediate processing or once a day processing depending on your needs so this is how it works so now you can just keep sending emails to this webhook and then start Start receiving replies in your drafts. So that's how to use make.com and DeepSeek version 3.